but if you guys came out really aggressive, um, you know, just with these couple three finals you're getting in the first quarter there, was that just that game plan thing? Was that just what the Bucks were giving you? And how important was that in terms of just opening up their offense for the rest of the night? It was really just us playing. <clears throat> Excuse me. We were just trying to take what they gave us. Um, Excuse me. And that was the three, you know, um, we were hitting them early on. And, you know, it helped us out later down in the fourth quarter and the second half, the lane started to open up because we were hitting our shots. So we just wanted to go out there and, and take what they gave us and, and play basketball and not be robots out there and make plays. Uh, Jason did it, especially in the fourth quarter, it seemed like every time. That's why you get paid the big bucks. That's it right there for moments like that. And, you know, I was telling him the whole game, just do you, man, you know, and he was. And that's, like I said, that's what he gets paid to do. That's what that's what we lean on him to do. You know, um, we did our jobs in the first half to, you know, to give him a break and, you know, why he, why they were doing a good job on him. We, 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 we stuck, stood up and uh, stepped up and we, we took care for him. And then he came in and, did what he did and who he is, and he took that game over in the fourth and brought us on home. What were these last couple of days like for you after the way game five ended, just, you know, getting over that and, and moving forward to this one? I just say tonight would be the first night after that, since that game that I get some sleep. I haven't been asleep yet. So um, right after that, that game, I went straight back to the practice facility and, uh, you know, just got my mind right and, and just try to, you know, do everything I can to prepare for tonight and uh, make sure that uh, we and myself bounce back. Why do you think the road team had so much success in this series? Home court stalemating in all the other series except this one. I mean, you got two juggernauts going at it. It's tough. You know, you got two two defensive-minded guy teams that are physical and, you know, we're beating each other up. So that's why. And, you know, not taking nothing away from anybody else in, in their series, but... You see it, you know, they got two seven, three seven footers over there. Um, we got a couple seven footers, we got a couple six nine guys. So it's hard, you know, and especially being in the playoffs, this is what it's about. So it is what it is. But we got home court, we're coming and bringing it back to Boston, and we're going to need to go take care of business. Carmen, so talking about it, having slept, he's going to need a level of visitation, seven assists, no turnovers, pretty much the structure of defense. What happened? Definitely, you know, that that final minute, those final minutes ate me alive, <clears throat> you know, and uh, my guys, teammates, coaches was doing a good job of just, you know, making sure that I stayed as composed as I could and, you know, keep my mind right. Because uh, I was really hurt after that, you know, I felt like I let my team down. Uh, and, they, you know, just be you. And this is all they kept telling me, you know, and Damian Stoudemire pulled me to the side and just told me, you know, um, because I dropped my head a couple of times in those possessions. And he was just, you know, I've never seen you do that. And I just want you to not lose confidence in yourself because we need you. And, you know, so coming tonight, I just wanted to go out there and, and make up for my teammates uh, and, you know, help them out and, and try to get this win. It's not like there's an in-depth right there in the fourth quarter that got that five. Manny, any of you guys have the same thing in that moment? No, we didn't actually, um, which is probably one of the first times we didn't have to. You know, everybody was just calm. Everybody kept their composure, and everybody was as poised as we've we've ever been, actually. Um, and 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 that was a sign of a, a team that's maturing, um, and you know, and a sign that we've been here before, and, and it's time to just go handle business. And that's what we did. Huge. It was. I you know I had to come set the tone. You know. Um, <clears throat> you know we all hear it. Um, we go as I go. I'm the heart and soul of this team. My teammates say that to me all the time. And, you know, I try to be that for them. You know, the, the energy that I bring um, is contagious. And I know that. And I just try to bring it every game. What's the game plan for you to guard Giannis more? Um, no, the game plan was just who's ever on him, just make it as tough as we can. Um, you know, I got matched on him a few times and I just tried to do the best I can. You know, <laughs> dude's a beast, seven plus and seven plus wingspan and take those long strides. It's tough. So, you know, we just wanted to make it as tough as possible. It didn't matter who was on. Them. When you are playing a guy like Durant or a guy like Giannis, who times feels unstoppable, what does it mean to you guys to know that you have a weapon on your team that can answer the way Jason did tonight? No fear. I mean, we know we got a, we got a Swiss Army knife on our side as well. So we're not worried. Uh, we just got to go out there and, and put ourselves in the right position and give our Swiss Army knife a chance to go do what he does.
there were moments where the offense got bogged down just by jumping, especially when Giannis got in foul trouble. There, you, you and especially Derek kind of came in there and reset the offense. How good was that? Definitely. I mean, that was that was key for us, you know, because um, in Game Five uh, it happened as well. We got ISO happy. Um, we stopped moving the ball, and it hurt us. So, you know, me and Derek being the point guards, we just wanted to come out here and make sure that that didn't happen. And just whenever we felt that things were getting stagnant to to get us into something or take control and, uh, you know, make sure we get a great shot. And that's what we did tonight. Marcus, what, what does a game seven in Boston mean to you? Man, <laughs> it means a lot. It means a lot. I mean, it's going to be loud. I've, I've had a few game sevens here uh, in Boston. And, and I just understand and know that being in the garden is a place you want to, you don't want to be on the road in the game seven. Is your leg okay? Yes, my leg is okay. Uh, I'll be all right. A little banged up, just like everybody else, but doing everything I can to take care of the body so we can get back to it on Sunday. Jason, what is he like? Does his demeanor change at all? Or is he not trying to talk to him? Or, or <laughs> no, you know, he's, he's cool, calm, and collected all the way through. Even when you know he's he's a little frustrated, he still keep his pose his poise as much as he can, you know. And and he went into a, another mode right there, you know. We seen it in his eyes, um, you know. He was aggressive. He was coming, telling us, "Give me the ball," and we give him the ball. You know, he asked for it, and that's what we're gonna do. Like I said, that's what he get paid the big bucks. So we put the ball in his hands and let him make and create for us and himself. And he did that tonight. A lot of the time, he's like they're gapping him really high, and he's picking up the dribble early, not really trying to drive the shoulder through with that. Like late on Bobby Portis, he just drew the foul on the ground. How big was it for him to just kind of take on that angry mindset tonight? Tremendous for us. Tremendous. You know, he's picking his spots very, very maturely. You know, he's not forcing anything. He's letting the game come to him. He's taking what the defense gives him. And, you know, he's waiting. He's allowing us to help him out in that first half, second. Uh, and then the second half, he takes over. You know, he has that energy to take over, and he's seen things that, uh, from the first half that he was able to exploit, and that was one of them, and he did a good job.